Uh, in response to the uh, Malaysian flight uh, plane that's just gone missing, uh, Flight 370, I have done um, a long time ago, it started really me telling about it in 70, uh, and I didn't know the mechanism used. It was done in patterns, murders, and uh, things happening, and I found out later, and I was doing the book in 77, 78, that of mind control and agencies using it, and um, back then you put chips in uh, heart bypasses or root canals, and you could remote control people, their decision-making, or um, well, make them do anything, the programmer or one giving the commands wishes. Uh, over the years, I mean, it's um, a murder weapon that you can do anything with, so I don't want to show the shamrock here. Um, the point, though, is that uh, hmm, showing shamrocks, and I guess you know. Um, anyway, I'm British, so there you go. Uh, but the uh, I don't know that the Malaysian flight, uh, if that was done in mind control, it's done at a high level and in patterns. All of it, and a lot of the planes. Um, have been done in patterns. You can take uh, program the pilot to fly into the ocean or um, do anything about shooting or just like it's a joke to put a air marshal on the plane because he can be programmed to shoot you. You can um, throw a jury the outcome by getting to the judge. You get him to his brain without him knowing it or the juror or the witness. So you can control the verdict. Um, so the, I don't know, the only thing I see so far, other than a lot of the planes, the things that have happened have been done with mind control, and they're not going to tell it, unless they're forced to, because people wouldn't want to get on a plane. They, um, it's a lot of things they wouldn't, wouldn't want to do, get behind the wheel of their car, because you can make them go into the ocean and drown the river. So anyway, uh, back to this one. The only thing I see in, in alone that doesn't mean anything, the kid really means a lot, and I don't even know what's happening with it other than it was sent. And I'm sure it all looks good and natural, but the flight number 370, but you have to know what's going on somewhere else, the timeline like here. Uh, the seven is turned into 73 backwards and the zero. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, Larry McDonald, uh, the plane he was on, I wrote about him in a medical malpractice book. And uh, had any freeze put in me so it didn't get published and it was in a joke about it, April Fool Day of 80. And I got a letter from the FBI, I know that, June the 23rd of 79 of NSA being involved and in, uh, national security involved, ongoing investigation. So anyway, uh, back to the Malaysian flight. The flight number means something to me very much. But I, I can't say that that's a mind control, but they're zeroing in on the the um, pilots. And, you know, if they were under mind control, or just one of them, that's all it takes, it's very sad because they're accused of crimes they didn't do. Uh, so I'm, I don't know, I'm going to put that there because the media is not going to tell you unless they're forced to about the mind control murders. And I don't know, it should have been stopped a long time ago. It's gone too far uh, the first time it was ever done. Um, and I'll say this, MK Ultra was pulled before Congress in 53, I believe it was, was wrapped on the wrist. And everybody pretends they don't even know anything about mind control. They don't believe in it. Uh, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I don't know if it was used, but my thoughts would be that it was.